Hi everyone, this is Katie and I'm the product designer for the packet stage and today I'm going to talk to you about the benefits of DEX research, talking a bit about what DEX research is, how I used it to solve a problem, and some actionable takeaways uh, that you can use DEX research yourself to solve some problems that you're facing. So first and foremost, what is DEX research? It's also called secondary research and it's the practice of reviewing previous research findings, either internal research or external research. I think we as product designers are very used to uh, this as we're tackling a problem. Um, but I guess the wrapping it in as, as desk research makes it a little bit more rigorous. So it's not just having a quick look, but it's actually making a plan and following through with it. Um, so what's the benefit of rigorously reviewing the past research? Uh, chances are questions similar to yours have been asked before. You can level up your knowledge to form better research studies going forward. Uh, you can be more in, informed or more of a subject matter expert and engage better with participants in future research sessions. Um, you can find the hidden gems of information that may not have been the core focus of the study. So that's something that I gain a lot from this. Uh, basically, sometimes insights uh, that are not directly re related to the research question of the study languish and um, secondary research or desk research can kind of uh, help you rediscover those insights. Um, it can, desk research can help you understand where you should focus, where are the gaps in your knowledge. And uh, it can be done at any time. It can be super low effort or light touch and uh, quite high reward. And so I was just kind of reflecting, how did I used to do desk research when I was in a co-located office versus how I've done it at GitLab? So this is how I used to do desk research. I don't know if you can see the, the photo, but uh, we used to have actual full research reports and I would actually uh, take them on a whiteboard and cut them up into pieces to try to find new findings. And when I was reflecting on this, it kind of reminded me of this meme. Uh, uh, and now I'm gonna share what I've done at GitLab, which is obviously a little bit different. Um, so the problem that I was facing was five months ago, I was brand new to GitLab and I didn't really know what was going on. I'm slowly picking up issues attached to milestones, but I don't have enough knowledge to make a decision. There's a lot of past research that's been done, um, but it's not easy to consume or discover. And the reason for this was uh, the package research predated the use of Dovetail, which is kind of our unified tool for uh, storing all of the research. Um, so we had this kind of hybrid situation where half the insights were in Dovetail, half of them were in issues and half of them were kind of like each insight was a separate issue, a closed issue. So it was quite hard to discover and, and keep track of all of that. Um, so how did I go about solving it? I thought I probably can't gain enough from these little snippets of information that I'm tracking down. I actually probably just need to go back to the source material and started looking at the all of the package research holistically. Um, and as I was doing it, I started taking notes in a typical way, uh, like I do analysis through affinity mapping. And as I was doing this, I realized that the outcome of this could probably benefit not just uh, myself, but also more people. So I uh, added a little bit of methodology um, and I'll just show you what that looked like. So basically I, at this point, I'm brand new and I just wanted to know a lot of things about package so that I could be a good designer and help shape the UX direction. So what I actually did was I went through all of the previous studies and um, I watched all of the videos and for each participant, I took notes. So each color is a different participant and I linked it back to the source and then I did affinity mapping per study. And then once I'd done that for all the studies, and I went and did like a giant mega meta analysis, which looks like this. It, it was very uh, hectic at points. Um, and this is basically what are the themes that I'm seeing emerging across all of the different studies. Um, and once I had that giant meta analysis for all of the past research, I kind of went through and wrote down some insights. Um, so this was a super helpful way for me to onboard and start to get a sense of the priority of certain features or pain points that users were experiencing. But I, as I said, I wanted this to uh, be helpful for more than just me. And uh, originally I tried to document this in Dovetail, um, but Dovetail isn't exactly quite set up yet for uh, showing 
research that spans multiple studies. So I settled on um, making a GitLab issue and that looks like this. And the purpose of this issue was to have a very centralized uh, at a glance information about uh, everything that we know from our customers that we're kind of seeing over and over again, what are the common themes um, and where are the gaps in our knowledge? So I'll just take you through. Um, the, the first bit of findings are background findings or informative findings. Um, that don't necessarily need an action, but still paint a really clear picture of our customers and, and their workflows. And then the more interesting bit to me was the actionable findings. So this is pain points. Uh, and as I was looking at these insights across studies, I realized that um, some of them fell into quite clear themes. So these are ranked based off of how often they appeared. So I looked at five studies plus the um, SUS reporting. Uh, so these are kind of ranked in order of how often they appeared in the study. And in these themes, I made sub issues and the sub issues have the kind of meat of the insights uh, related uh, initiatives and issues to solve the problems. And um, yeah, more of the in-depth details. So from all of this, uh, I was left with a bunch of questions and I documented these questions here. So this is kind of Based off of everything I've seen, here are some things that I think are gaps in our knowledge that need to inform future research projects. Uh, so I presented this to the team and um, I think it went over quite well. There were some findings here that the team, even though some people have been in the team for a couple of years, were not aware of and some workflow things that were a little bit surprising to people. So it's always great to advocate for the customer because we had this whole wealth of knowledge, but it just wasn't discoverable. And uh, now we have also a little bit more targeted direction of where our research gaps are so that we can do more studies in the future. And so uh, after going through this whole process, um, the, the challenges of going through this is it's incredibly time consuming. Uh, I was onboarding, so I had the time and I needed the information, but I don't necessarily recommend this. Uh, I am, not sure that I've documented it in the best way. Um, it's outside of Dovetail and it's currently in a closed issue in the UX research project, uh, which means it's not maybe the most discoverable. And um, so I think it'd be good to yeah, figure out a better place where this could live. Um, and lastly, that past research studies don't paint the whole picture. There are quite a lot of studies that I referenced there that were focused on storage management. So it seems like from just the meta-analysis that storage management is the number one priority, but I think uh, there's some research that we haven't done yet that uh, probably is higher priority. So there's a little bit of bias in there. And the wins, uh, this was a really good onboarding experience for me, but also uh, our team is growing quite a lot. So hopefully this is a, helpful thing for new people onboarding to the package team. Uh, it's centralized the knowledge. Uh, it's more easily digestible uh, information about our customers. It highlights the areas that we should focus on. And uh, some of the information was uh, new to the team. Um, so it was awesome to be able to provide that knowledge. Um, and then step, taking a step back, opportunities as we as a, a UX team, um, I'm coming from a, a world where I've always had a research library. So I've always had a lot of research at my fingertips. And I think um, we're definitely heading in that direction with the move to centralize things in Dovetail. Um, but I think we can all benefit from having research being more easily consumable and discoverable, especially uh, across, you know, outside of our, our stage areas. Um, and I know that the UX research team has been doing some awesome work uh, working through how to make a global shared tags and dovetail. I think that'll be awesome. Um, I think we could also think about more standardization and dovetail, um, such as uh, the titles of the projects and having a lot more contextual information in the description of the projects. Uh, I'm definitely guilty of this too, but uh, I think it would be a great practice if we could all uh, put enough information that someone with no context could come in and at least know what the project is about. Um, beyond the tagging, uh, I think that there are some cross stage group themes that uh, have emerged and it'd be awesome uh, if we could have some kind of like process for tagging it as such um, and just standardizing like how, how to document this. Um, and the last thing uh, that I'm going to leave you with is lighter touch desk research. So I went in like full steam 
and you don't have to do it like that. That's a very uh, large project that I under, that I have undertaken. Um, but it's something to think about. Um, as I said, we are all used to looking at past research as product designers or people in the UX team. Um, but I encourage you to frame it up with slightly more rigor. Um, so frame desk research like any other research project, articulate your objective, your assumptions and your research questions and your objective and your questions can be quite narrow just to make it very quick and determine what sources you'll be pulling from. Uh, the benefit with desk research is you can pull from external sources, but just be mindful of the relevance and credibility of those sources. Uh, don't just gather the data, um, analyze it in the same way that you would with a normal research project and document your findings in a way that meets your objective. For example, is your objective for your own reference or to share with stakeholders. At, as I started my project, it was just reference for myself, but I soon realized that more people could benefit from it. Um, and therefore I uh, added a bit more rigor. Um, so just something to think about. Uh, yeah, might be something that people would like to try. Thank you. Thanks, Katie, for that. Um, I really liked the, how you wrapped it up at the end with all those tips, um, because you eliminated one of my questions, which was about <laughs> what's your recommendations. But we also have a few questions here from the audience. And the first one, I'll let Nadia vocalize it. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for sharing, Katie. That was super impressive to see all of that uh, meta-analysis. Uh, and also very helpful uh, for others to learn about the package stage. I remember when you were sharing those insights. Um, for me, being new to package, it was also great to see that kind of analysis. Um, do you have any tips for doing such meta-analysis uh, efficiently? Um, your Figma board looked um, quite intimidating <laughs> in some parts, uh, like that meta-analysis where you had all of the insights in one place probably took quite a bit of time to analyze. Do you have any tips for how to approach it? I would say keep the scope of your desk research a lot smaller than what I did uh, would be the first one. And also, uh, I think as we standardize tags and dovetail, a lot of the analysis and insights will be just kind of ready to be picked up and grabbed. Um, and what I did was almost like I reanalyzed every single study just so that I could have it all in one place um, because the research was predating dovetail. So I think going forward, it will also be a lot easier because you're kind of starting more with a finished pr product rather than starting from scratch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. All right, 